All right, here's a little video on the Drake uh, B line here, and I wanted to show Mark what I did for my counter. Mark and Bob CAC are playing around with these Chinese counters, and here's how I have it hooked up to the uh, R4B and T4XB transmitter. Uh, so let me let me pause this for a second, and I'll show you the inside of the little homemade counter box that I made. Okay, here's the little Chinese counter. I think I paid twelve dollars for this one. The box is made out of double-sided printed circuit board material. Put a little uh, power switch there on the front panel. Oops. And uh, here's what it looks like on the inside. Let me get some light on it here, maybe. Um. So, hang on a second here. Alright, Mark, here's what I did. I put a BNC connector for the output and ended up adapting that to an RCA. So whatever you got to work there. There's a capacitor right here. Uh, it's a .01. has a very low reactance at the frequencies we're talking about. So that'll work. It block a little DC should it ever appear on that line and it won't blow up your counter. Here this stuff here is uh, probably not really necessary but I have a little Zener diode down here. Current limiting resistor and a little uh, bypass cap. And I run it off like an 18 volt wall wart. And the Zener knocks it down to 12 volts. You can run these little counters off a 9 volt transistor radio battery for a little while, but uh, you really need 12 volts. Okay, here's the B line again. And uh, let me get a little light on it. Make it easier. Okay, so uh, Mark, now that you got the C line cooking, it's very similar. We've got a switch down here marked transceive. Right now I'm on the receiver section. You can go receiver, transmitter, separate, or spot. Um, and the way I have this hooked up with a little uh, jumper cable or a jumper uh, gadget in the back of the receiver, when I switch between receiver and transmitter, let me see if I can get all this in here. Okay, we're on the receiver PTO right now. I'll switch to the transmitter. There's a transmitter on a different frequency. 7231.9 to 7232. If you go to spot, That's pretty close. They tell you in the manual to tune for a chirping sound. So, but the best thing to do is use the counter. Once you get the right offset programmed into it, it'll read um, the correct frequency using either PTO. So, for example, if I set, uh, if I'm on my receiver and I have it set for 7230 and um, that's where guys are talking or whatever and I'm going to break in. I go to the transmitter PTO. I set that for 7230 and then I can either use either PTO if I want to transceive or go into the separate position and uh, it, that that way, if somebody on the frequency is drifting, and I move my receiver um, PTO, my transmitter will stay put. So anyway, good stuff. And uh, Mark, if you need any help wiring up the counter, let me know. I'll show you the back here. Hang on. Okay, here's a rat's nest of wires in the back. 
Um, we got the transmitter here, the receiver here, speaker power supply over here. Um, and all I did, Mark, was um, I took a chassis mounted um, RCA jack strip. I don't, I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on that. And I just wired it up with a single plug jumper two jacks together one cable swirls around and goes to the transmitter and uh, the other one of course uh, plugs right into the receiver and the uh, third the uh, last one here goes to the frequency counter so this red RCA jack here goes to the frequency counter this one goes to the transmitter and of course the injection output on the receiver is uh, where it gets plugged into okay so that's it back to the B line here the uh, little box like I said is made out of double sided FR4 uh, just bent up and uh, soldered together, not bent, but actually cut and soldered up together. Um, sometimes you have to make little shims or right angle pieces to uh, hold it all together, but that printed circuit board material is pretty cheap. Clean it off with a little SOS pad in the sink before you start, and uh, it'll work just fine. So that's the story on the $12 Chinese counters. They have one now that goes, uh, instead of uh, 100 hertz, goes to 10 hertz. And I have I don't have one of those. And I think they're a little larger, so it would require making a new box. But if you've got one that goes down to 10 hertz, um, that'd probably give you a little extra degree of accuracy. But close enough with these old drakes. So there you go, Mark. Let me know if you got any questions and keep tinkering. See you later.